Captain Tarth's colony ships are landing, Commander. Begin the drop-off sequence. I don't see any of the other aliens, but look out for them. Don't worry, we're ready. Good luck, Commander. Systems are working. Power plant is online. Sir, there's bad news. Distant current colonies are making progress. There's another spy. We need a plan. Us turn your colony to rubble. Hello everyone, Stars RJ here, the Sonic of the Scales with a game called Deadlock. Yeah, it's a bit of an old game, I used to play it back in my childhood, um, I, <laughs> it's, a, it's available on GOG, very cheap price for the moment, but uh, yeah, it's like a, it's a civilization builder game essentially, set on another planet and you gotta, well, essentially it's called Deadlock Planetary Conquest, you gotta go in and conquer the planet, because everyone's had Deadlock. Oh, well, actually, well, the story is, is that, a bunch of aliens and human, the humans and a bunch of aliens found this really cool planet, and they're all like, "Wow, this planet's really cool!" So it's after a big war. A big war had happened. They fought on a bunch of bad guys, and all these planets are now ripe for exploration. They found this really good world. Everyone's going straight to this planet, but the, you know they all get over it. They all start fighting each other. And then after, then after one of their ships exploded and crashed on the planet, they realized, "Wait, if we keep this up, this planet's going to be uninhabitable." So they all quickly came to an agreement that they would actually land troops on the planet instead. And they'd agree to a certain amount of terms, like either take over, t conquer everyone else, or or um, build enough city centers to lay a claim over the planet. And then, you know, they win the agreement. You know, they win the agreement. The planet's theirs. It's a um, that's a fascinating game. I'm going to be um, perhaps playing a uh, long version of it, I suppose. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have a custom game where. Uh, I'm gonna hogtie the AI to not research any text because I am not a very good player of the game. I mean, in fact, I'm playing on I'm playing on easy mode, but uh, well, easy mode is pretty much what you need. It's all you need actually, just to, to to have a good time, and that's what's important, right? Having a good time of the game. I'm gonna go over the maximum number of players for the maximum frustration, and mission conditions can be ten city centers, and yeah, again. You can set the hog type, reduce their production, and make sure they don't research text. Hindered is they have production di difficulty, but they can research text. I, I prefer the other way around. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna actually like supercharge their abilities or anything because um, you know otherwise we'll be in here for a very long time. I mean, it's still gonna be in for a long time, especially if I set the map to something like large. Now, what I'm going to do for the first time around is play as well, the humans. I might, I might make, a, make, make this a series, might be a short, whatever, but whatever it is, I'm going to play as the humans. I might go through the other races and stuff. It's probably, probably going to be the same kind of game, except everyone has their different advantages. For example, humans make a lot more money. So you want a quicker game? Humans, because they can just make more money. Bam! Instant cash. And they also have Berserk Order, gives a max, max combat bonus, but it kills the unit. Don't use it at all. 
And also, you don't, you cannot really use the black market with humans. The humans really don't want the people running the black market. Although, I never really used the black market in the first place. It's, yeah. Anyway. Let's, um, get started. And I'll probably explain a bit further, like, the lore and stuff. Because this game, like, I like a lot of these old games. There's a huge amount of lore behind all this stuff. Like, seriously, there's a butt-ton of it. Well, me a metric butt-ton of it. Not an Imperial, a metric butt-ton. Alright, so, uh, yeah. i now got to pick a landing site. I'm actually going to pick, um... I'm going to pick this area. It's got next to a mountain, it's next to some plains, and there's a forest nearby. I'm going to pick this one. I've got access to the coast. I've got some plains and the forest I can immediately go to, and the mountains are not that high priority. Yeah, especially if you, especially if I'm going to population growth. Commander, all colonists are reporting for their assignments. What should they do first? All right, so how I normally begin these games is well, I check my territory. So here's your interface and stuff. Um, I'm not going to explain too many details of it. I hit construction button and look at these tiles. We got a nice flat land here and a nice little food bonus. So I'm going to move my little dudes off to city centre. By the way, double clicking on structures, does this. City centre can produce culture and train. I'm going to set it to maximum train. Because, uh, yeah, you get lots of revenue out of trade with the humans. Also, what I'm going to do is build a housing complex. They do it instantly. No, they, do, they build in one turn, they hold 500 people. Right, so yeah, I'm building a farm here. Now, now to check local territory, we've got this and this. I think I'll go for this territory because this one's got a wood bonus. I mean, wood is good in the early game. This one's also got more food bonuses and it's got a metal bonus. Plus, planes allow, um, well, yeah, planes are, um, are really good for getting troops to, oh, yeah, I should actually mention this part. Yeah, you, you sit, when you build, when you move this thing called a colonizer, you start with, the, the, the terms of the, the terms of the pact is, you send 500, you send 500 people down to the planet, all armed with basic laser weaponry, they've got to make their own technology, they've got to make their own stuff, there's no help from orbit, they've got to do it all themselves. And that's the um, gist of the basic storyline. Is that yeah, you got to make sure the um, yeah the colonists got to make sure they um, can do all that without any outside help. So what happens when you start these games is you start with a colonizer and four and four hundred units of people, or well, four hundred people. That's intentional because a colonizer has a hundred units of people in it. Yeah. Anyway, so I move the colonizer to a territory, and then I set it to build settlement. So that means the next turn we'll build a settlement. Because, yes, it's a turn-based game. I'm also checking other territories for uh, certain other bonuses. There's, there's this thing called, like, artifacts. Shrines. That's the one. Ooh, music. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I've got my shipyard. I've got, a, got, a, I've got the trolley being built the next turn. Now, one thing I could get started on a university for technology research. Or a factory for, trade, for a trade boost. Or, you know, building military units, but... University can work too. One of my friends, one of my friends on Megacycle said that he um, normally starts with the university. So we can get research up and going by turn four. But in my in my kind of play of game, I tend to not feel when I'm playing as humans I would do that. And I have tried I have experimented before with the whole idea of getting a university up as soon as possible. I'd rather, you know, take things a bit slow, a bit chill. So I'm gonna start with a factory, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it's, hard, it's hard to decide when recording what you're going to do. Yeah, I could go to the university. But yeah. Factories, factories are good. Factories are good. If you want to get a start in your military production or your trade. I'll explain I'll explain further resources as we as I go. But for the most part, I think I should also... I think next time, when I get another unit of population from population growth, I think I'll build another colonizer and send it down here. This one's got an energy bonus. Anyway, next turn... Your command, your advisor dude tells you all the stuff. You know, new farm, new house was built. I'm gonna set the um, values to that much. All right, here we are, Gretna Plains. What I'm gonna do here, the same thing again. Build a farm and build a house. Normally, I would actually build like four houses straight away because of the population cap on the um, territories. Yeah, the population cap is about five thousand. So you build four houses, and they all upgrade to the maximum luxury housing. They, um, you know, apartment complexes hold a thousand people, luxury houses hold 
1,500 people. So, if you have four houses and three of them are luxury apartments and one house, well, you hit your pop cap. So it's just, it's just for convenience purposes, I suppose. But anyway, I'm just going to get my, get started on uh, what I should be building around here. Oh, notice, notice that the um thing, the thing was the yellow. This means the resources are available, just not in that colony. Which means you have to be transported over from one territory to the other by the road. By road. So it costs a little bit of extra money. So the building's cost goes up if you have to transport it via road. Okay. Here's another idea. Could take this territory. Take the mining operation and energy production. And then the population growth is a lot higher. Yeah, pop population growth is a lot higher in um Plains territories. Anyway, next turn. Here's some pleasant work. And then of course, you got the, the AI telling you stuff like, oh please help us. You'll be getting this a lot. Seriously, you'll be halfway building something, the AI will be like, oh! I heard you just built a luxury housing in that territory. Ooh, a bit of a luxury house have you built, huh? Well, uh, you know. Well, um, you know, we want you to shut it down. Good day. We want you to shut it down because I'm Gordon Ramsay. So yeah, I'm a colonizer. I'm going to take away his money from trade and in three turns time. I'm a new colonizer. I could speed it up and put actually someone in there. Like, you know, just do this and now it's two turns. Or one turn. And then I can go back here. Switch back to train. So I get more money. Zoom out. Throw this guy in here. Build another settlement. I want to get my early growth in. I'm going to set this to food as well. And now to wait another turn. And what do we have? Okay. Ooh, these are really good territories. I mean, the Uber Mosque is over here. They're the they're some aliens. So in this case, though. Alright, so, the aliens are over there. Now, I'm not sure about the AI, what the AI's program to do, but, in any case, I'm just putting down some laser defences, and I'm out of money. Yeah, laser defences are really great against um, enemy tanks and stuff. Early game tanks. I think having like two or three, or having four of them, is probably all is sufficient, provided you've got some military force behind it. Alright, so now that's more money. Can't really build anything. Yep. Just gonna wait a bit more. Okay. Yep, nothing new is happening here. So yeah, yeah, shut up, shit. We don't, we don't care. So, got a service mine being constructed there. Got a farm underway there. Alright, I think we have the money now. Yeah, so I wanna make sure that everyone has a job to do. So what I'm gonna do here is put a nuclear plant down. When stuff gets constructed, like the factory and the, um, Laser defense and stuff. Once you know, laser defense is constructed, the guy is going to just do here and he's going to move on to that nuclear plant. So that's out of a lot of energy. And energy is a resource we also trade around. I think I might actually, um, yeah, I think I might start on my colonizer. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, see, there we go. Guys, like, oh, beautiful little farm. Ooh, I want you to shut down your farm. It's like, dude, you're how far? Away? You're, like, you're like on the other side of the map. You're not gonna do. You ain't gonna do squat, okay? You ain't gonna do squat against me. Right. So in this case, again, taking control of another territory, and this time we're gonna build a farm and max and set it to wood production, and again build another house. Start. So we have two. We have two housing complexes. I think Human Landing's actually getting um, to the point where I could go for a third house. Oh, no, in this case here, get set the train, good. Here's some new- Yep, got some new events, like, oh, when I the pit, doesn't really matter, I'm not really watching any territories. Yep, laser defense is being constructed, we go for a third one. That doesn't cost any energy to actually maintain, unlike later tech ones. Yeah, unlike later tech. Uh, laser defenses. These ones don't take anything to, um... I mean, lasers make superior weapons. Yep, this was just constructed. Here's some new yep, there you go. Housing complexes were upgraded. You can see, yep. Now, population is going to get to a certain point where morale... It's going to affect your morale. It's around this point, or 
actually, no, not really around that point. Or maybe it is, but I don't think I would for it actually, I just realise. Some urgent. Yeah. Sorry about that, I was interrupted briefly. Uh, anyway, so, uh, well, I think I was talking about was cultural centres, right, yeah. Because, uh, you can. Morale's gonna be an issue, can become an issue. Um, there are other factors that suffer morale problems a lot better, some can tolerate it, can also tolerate it better. These are the humans, they're middle of the road. You know, when the, when the planes reach a certain population level, you know, they get no population modifier, and, and then they'll start rioting and morale goes down, that sort of thing. So what I normally do in these games is I try, try and tackle it sort of early in the game, before the population reaches like, you know, 1500 or something. I think plane territory can hold up to about 22,000 people before it, um, the more overpopulation comes in. Forests are like 1,500, and mountains are 1,000. So, uh, yeah, keep that in mind. That certain territories have morale penalties and stuff. Yeah, so anyway, uh, as you might notice there, I don't have enough, enough sufficient wood. So now it's going to be transported over from here to there. And over here, the surface mine generating iron for me. Nope, that can be happening. Yep, and here again. Yep. Alright. At this point, I'm like, okay, well, maybe I should put a, um, the territory is not really doing much. I mean, it's, a power, it's producing power, it's producing, it makes it produce a bit of food. But, I think it's time to start some research. How I can, um, generate a bit of energy before it, um, without people on it. For you guys with the factory, not the city centre. City centre's good and all, but I don't think the uh, factory is a lot more. The factory is a lot more priority. I'm not sure how I can tell people not to go on. Like, I don't think I can prioritise this over the other one. There's just some things in this game I've never figured out. In the sequel, Deadlock 2, it's a lot more complicated, but I don't want to play Deadlock 2. It's not as good. There's a bit of there's a lot of simplicity to this that I particularly enjoy. Alright, so at this point I'm like, okay, I have a bit of cash. I have a bit of money to throw around. I'm going to throw some houses in. I'm going to put all the maps and houses in right now. So I don't have to worry about it later. So I don't have to worry about it later. Bam, there's all your houses. Here's some, here's some news. Alright, and uh, yeah, we've got someone working on the culture centre here. Is that, oh, prioritise the cultural centre. Houses down here. No doubt I'm not actually building, um, yeah, I'm not putting laser defenses here or anywhere else. I don't think the AI really prioritizes the chip very much unless, you know, they have higher tech or whatever. Oh, right, the university online. Commander, good to see you. Yeah, so you can now research all sorts of cool techs like nuclear fusion, synthetic fertilizer, electronics, and the hover weight or metallurgy. I normally start with synthetic fertilizer. Food production is going to be. Top priority. You produce a lot of food, but you can also lose a lot of food. So, the higher your food production, the better. All right, the cultural center is up. Hmm. Now, you haven't called. Please consider us in your future plans. All right, I think it's time to discuss the law. <laughs> that was the black market. They, they pull their every turns to ask, "Hey, why haven't you called us?" They're the skirinine. They were not the one, they did not sign an agreement to colonize this planet. In fact, they were the big evil empire everyone fought off against. Yeah, they were the big evil empire everyone fought against to, you know, take all their stuff and things. Seriously, the Skirinina are essentially the xenophobic aliens who, well, I'd say they're xenophobic, but it's more like they're very uh, opportunistic. They'll, um, uh, well, they set up trading posts all around the galaxy, for example. Yeah, they set up trading posts all around the galaxy and they, Ask everyone, hey, why don't you come trade with us? And everyone's like, okay, cool, free trade. Wow, look at all these resources. Oh man, but they're ripping us off all these prices and stuff. And then eventually, after everyone trusted the security and stuff, and had all these, yeah, they're trusting us. It's capitalism, but after trusting them enough, they had all these outposts and stuff everywhere. What can we investigate? And then suddenly, you know, the security were like, psych. Yeah. Oh, shut up, Sif. And the security were like, shut up, shut up, guy. And psych, we're never on your side. In fact, we're going to nuke you all now. And what happened with the humans is that's kind of what happened with the humans. What just did there was upgrade was a research synthetic fertilizer, so I can upgrade these farms. 
it's going to cut my production, but it's going to, you know, yeah, it's going to cut my production for the moment, but it'll come back eventually. So yeah, so the Skyrim were like, they launch strikes everywhere across the galaxy on all those alien races. And so, uh, yeah, that's what happened is the, um, yeah, stuff exploded. The Earth, was, the Earth in particular was, um, hit with a, um, powerful, yeah, the, the Earth in particular was hit with the, um, you know, hit by a whole bunch of, um, supernova warheads and essentially the whole, the, they blew up a quarter of the moon and put a big ring of, put a big ring around the, um, around the planet. So the humans really don't like the Skyrenine. A new Any machine human, is... Please, choose our next Any project. Any human leader found making deals with the Skyrenian is going to hit, is going to make morale really, really sick to the bottom. It's, yeah. You just don't trust the Skyrenian. I'm going to quickly, uh, prioritize getting this nuclear power plant upgraded. You know, low energy is bad if you want to, just want to get some hydroponics online. Yeah, so the Skyrenian are, are essentially bad guys. They didn't sign the agreements. They're untrustworthy. They're like Ferengi. They're Ferengi. They're the Ferengi, but a lot more dangerous. I mean, the Ferengi are still dangerous, but a lot more in this case. I think it's time to set up another um, colonizer. Yeah, alright. Here we go. Farm. Okay, big farmer is done. Yeah, so, Ferengi are very, very dangerous people. Don't trust them. Black market's great if you want to get some free tech or whatever. Well, not free tech, but expensive tech or information. Or even military units. All the stuff you can do with the Skyrenine, but I don't bother the black market at all. And especially as the humans. You just don't, you just don't go to the black market. So in this case, I'm going to put a fusion plant there. This is going to be like the power production slash university area. Yeah, I could have also... Oh, sure, I'll, have a I'll put a colonizer there. Some urgent right, information. Great. This is what I mean by military production. Yeah, I'm going to send the colonizer over here. I'm going to move my laser cannon down there. So yeah, the humans. The humans are in the, in the, according according to the law I've read up. I had to reread the law. But yeah, according to the law, the humans are actually on a um are suffering from a huge economic downturn. Okay, we've got a play going on. Don't, don't, don't trade any resources. Don't trade any resources in this area and uh, just watch yourself. Don't trade any people around the area either. You'll, you'll, spread, you'll spread the code in and make plague. Anyway, um, let's see what we for. Put a nuclear plant there. Surface mine over there. Take a bit of production actually to get on the surface mine, but. The alternative is elsewhere. Yeah, three, turn, uh, three turns away from getting wood. <laughs> Got wood. Oh, right. So yeah, fusion plant upgraded. Fusion plant there. Yep. Some urgent information for you. Alright, so that means you're done producing. Well, you ain't done producing until I've said you're done producing. You're gonna put some laser squads. They do basic infantry. They do basic infantry stuff. I'm just gonna move you guys to the seamless hills just to just to get some intel of the local area. What we got here? Oh, so these guys have acquired a native shrine, and they want to prove that they've acquired a native shrine. They get a free tech out of out of discovering it for the first time, and they can do research. It's essentially like having a university in your territory. So if you can find a native shrine. It's a pretty good bonus, early game bonus. And as you might notice, they have a fusion plant. Because, yeah, the free tech was fusion. So, yeah. You know, I could try and take over one of their territories, but I'd rather not do it with my basic troops, even if I have laser tanks and stuff. Yeah, just... Some urgent... Not even with laser squads. What I should actually do is, um, go here. Put this thing called a fuel depot. What does a fuel depot do? Well... It extends, it extends the range of units that in the in the area, and it also extends the range of aircraft, which I'll get to when I can't get to them. But yeah, it just extends the range of a whole bunch of units and stuff. And this, is, this, is a good, this is a good stuff. Here's some right. news. What can we investigate next? I'm gonna research chaos computers because the university takes a fourth spot. Looking for a lot of great research. Switch to electronic production. Uses fire but can't research anything. Chaos computers. 
This is an advancement. This is a significant advancement of the technology. And yeah, human land has already got that flattened population. Alright, so I think around here, it's time to uh, get, a, get a cultural center constructed. Although, wood, wood production. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Look at that. 55 units of wood. 55. I can just do this. This was. Look at that. I'm gonna upgrade you. Well, we still have a student company surplus. Yeah, morale's kind of like that, but I think when it hits when it hits certain levels, it's gonna go. Yep, you're gonna need you're going to need you're going to need some people in there. Disaster oh, has gripped up, us you. in its horned hand. Shut up! Yeah, the, uh... yeah. As you can see, the fuel depot gives you an extra movement point. So now we have a laser squad left to construct. I could build a laser cannon, but I'm gonna set the build units. I'm gonna set build units. And what I should do here is construct an airport. Yeah, I'll construct an airport there. And I have a bit of money left over. I suppose I can, well, not really green resources, but I can build a shipyard there. Laser squad's done, the factory's all constructed stuff. So, send back the train. Put the laser squad down here. And what I could try and do is take over Moss Landing. We have completed. We're all ready to do more. But instead, I'm going to research Here's molecular some news. bonding. Right, the very flat plane. You're going to hear that often. Um, laser turret test firing. So I'm just going to upgrade the cultural centers, the museums, while I still have the opportunity. Okay, and over here, population growth is slow. Get matches check. Okay. Now, another cool thing you can do is uh, transfer people from one territory to another. Just by clicking on it and dragging, it costs 25 credits to move a unit to move a person from one territory to another. You try and do it in one go if you can. 25 per person. As you can see here. Yep. Alright, need a cultural center right away. Oh, I, could get, I could walk out for a museum, that cultural center. Yeah, mountains do not. What I can do is reduce the taxes a bit in the territory. So now the morale goes up to plus 5. Yeah, morale goes up to plus 5. So I have a bit of a, I have a, bit of a buffer. Okay, we just like the bonding, that's good. We could build another hydroponic farm, although what I could also do is put a farm here. Yep, Some there we go. The, 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 the airport constructed. The airport's really good at trade. What you should do is not actually um you can upgrade the airport to a military airport, but it produces a lot less trade, so I would recommend it if you are uh, if you're seeking out trade. You don't trade resources. Do not build a military. Do not turn something into a military airport. Okay, that's all going well. Cultural center being constructed. Grounding penalties. Okay, yeah, here we go. Shipyard. Shipyard is built. Shipyard can uh, yeah, build transports. And if there's only one port, port of call available. But yeah, seizing ocean territory doesn't really do anything. Unless you're trying, unless you're... Okay, I'm gonna go with one anyway. Alright, so... Here's some news, you should... A whole bunch of stuff just got upgraded. A whole bunch of stuff just got upgraded there. I'm gonna move the, um, transport over here. See what's going on at Plains of Fire. I don't know, it might have a shrine or something I can steal. Please, on, choose then. our next project. Now, fusion cannon. Here's some... Fusion cannon. Another important tech. Okay, molecular bonding, though, is also an important tech. Service mines take up, again, take up two by two spaces. Right, I should actually... I should get around to upgrading this thing. Look, that's for long, long term. Oh, I could build an airport. I might just build an airport. Or, build a factory. Yeah, I think I've got a factory here. For the moment, yeah. Right. This was just transmitted. Ooh, that was fast. Okay, max out the factory. 
factory, uh, I can make a build unit, or leave it as is, and trade. Trade of 30. That's not too bad. Go to another shipyard, again, for trading purposes. Another thing I should also consider, city centre. I have the money for it, so I think I'll put one here. Yep, put it up there. I'm gonna set this to set to upgrade. Food production's gonna get hurting for a bit. Iron production's also gonna be hurting. There ain't nothing going on with Mars Landing. Right, let's move on. We've got Eternal Peaks. And nothing there. Thanks, Dip. That's what we have. Some urgent Ooh, There we go. Stuff got upgraded. Don't go away, Sirene. Yeah. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that was a great idea there, guys. <laughs> well, seriously, that is way too many farms. <laughs> I can't have to colonize the zero to because there's a, there's a unit limit. Yeah, the unit limit will not cost the game. Like, you can only have two, two, two tanks and four infantry per territory. Yeah, two tanks, four infantry. Three aircraft, four missiles, and in certain the coastal territories, three ships. Deadlock 2 gets rid of those limits, but again, I'm not playing Deadlock 2, I'm playing Deadlock 1. Okay, overground is going to be a problem. Hopefully it'll hold out for two turns. Yeah. Nothing upgraded yet. I'm going to go for a mantle drill. Where it does require iron. Man Mandel drills are the upgrades to the um, yeah, are upgrades to the surface mine. As you can see, yeah, a lot more iron production being done. Yep, one unit. Mountains produce the best amount of iron. So if you can get an iron bonus, set them up right there. But you'll see in a moment, or eventually you'll see that the um, it's not always the case. Again, I'll explain when I when I get to it. Right, I'm gonna set this five electronics. It's not gonna get balanced out, so here's a bit of electronics. Three people will cut in half a bit. Next turn, cultural center's been upgraded. Ooh, okay, yeah, I should actually get a cultural center here. Yeah. Alright, now, now because the cultural center's been set up, we can bring the taxes back to normal. Yeah, I've got the taxes back to normal there. The center's still going to take a bit of time. Mantle drill's going to take a bit of time. I'm going to move this back over here. Please, Fusion choose our done. next project. Alright, finally going to research metallurgy. Metallurgy is important. It's also important. Was constructed. Ah, oh, fusion cannon. Yep, yep, yep. So, oh, cultural center. That's right. That's what I was thinking of. Cultural center constructed and upgraded. Use taxes for a bit of leeway. And okay, nothing much for me to do there. I'm all, I'm all set for wood. There's no further need for wood production. Oh yeah, so what is, what is fusion, what fusion cannon did, did um... Yep. There we go. Okay, so what fusion cannon did was, uh, so your fusion cannons take a long time to construct, but there is a way to speed up the process. Yeah, there is a way to speed up the process. Getting a fusion cannon. So that's all maxed out. Actually, I've got a better idea. It's, um, it's going to take like five turns, just doesn't, don't bother with it for the moment. Good sign saves it. A new machine. Please, choose our... It's as good as done. But I'm going to research automation. Yeah, I mean, I could do the fusion cannons right now and be done by the time it's all done, but trust me, it's better this way. Put up another airport, I suppose. We're gonna add trade. What else can we do in these territories? Let's add another, let's add another colonizer. Yep, trade. Because they would also need to build a unit like Scout or Command Core, but they can't actually put any uh, colonizer in that territory. Because, yeah, it's got two tanks already. Over here, actually. 
for a very good reason. Wait, what? Wait, I can just do that? Okay, just... For some reason, let me just move those tanks in. So again, I'm gonna build the, um... The housing complexes. Put that away. Set up a farm. And here. Put a mantle drill down there. Go back to human landing. Alright, we're pushing people in. Yeah, you have to do it one at a time. Again, Deadlock 2 allows you to move all the people. But again, I don't like Deadlock 2 for other reasons. Alright, and because of the more people coming in, I think I'll quickly build the museum. In this case. Okay. Best interest to get another hydroponic farm. In here. Some laser defenses. Laser defenses constructed right away. Sorted right away. Excellent planning. Yeah, and also, I should mention that Uber Mosque infantry units can do spy missions. That's who these bad guys are, they're the Uber Mosque. about them, but I think it's appropriate for the human campaign to discuss more of the aliens. Well, maybe it is, but anyway. I think I can uh, start putting more tech labs. Lab, lab, lab. Maybe a third one. Now, another thing you can do with factories over here is, um, Try to turn iron to steel. So I can take 10 units of iron, turn into 10 units of steel. Iron has a metal value of 1, steel has a metal value of 5. So, turning 10 metal, turning this, turning ten, so 10 iron turns into 50 iron, turns into 50 metal at a factory if you decide not to go on the train and just go with steel production. Yeah, not too bad of a trade off, I suppose. This div Please choose our next project. Yeah, I just researched. Um, Here's some I just researched the um, automation technology. So it's time to upgrade. Yeah, these factories here. Highly inefficient. Highly inefficient. Take up a lot of space and take up a lot of people to actually function. They're pretty terrible. But there is a way to make them better. We're going to get around to. Upgrade. Just want to make sure everything. Everything all lined up in order. Okay, nothing going on. Well, actually, there is something going on in those meadows. You don't want to secure them. Although, Uber Moss Inventory can spy on me at any time. You know what? I think it's time to throw off the combat system and how terrible it is for the enemy, but yeah, anyway. Not sure where I should build the um I'm not sure where I should build the airports. Right, here's how it works. Combat. Just go in, do stuff, and die. Go off colony, and not laser defenses. And this is the one triggering this to the stuff. Lay this down. military force being sent from, to a relatively undefended colony. The, the enemy had it no is infantry. pretty bad, Commander. Yeah. Here's the, some the enemy had no infantry, this... they had no tanks, all they had was two laser defenses and a bunch of colonists. All they needed to do was destroy one laser defense and kill nine colonists. Terrible! However, in one turn time, we'll believe that we'll have fusion cannons. I should also mention now the, um... That's 38. That's 32. That's 20. So that's, that's one of the energy bonus on a mountain. 
the mountains have a better energy bonus than um than anything really. You can quickly throw into nuclear power plants and upgrade the fusion reactors when I can. Although I haven't actually checked to see if the um I haven't checked to see if nuclear plants are much better in a new please choose uh, our next project. That. Now I've got a whole bunch more tech I can research. I'm going to do Endurium Mining. Construct. Nope. Just look back to trade. Then this is Nuclear Reactor 17. Alright. So I'll upgrade that to that. Three turns. So you get three turns. Hopefully I'll have the energy for it. So yeah. Now I'm back to turn to an automated factory. The level fusion cannon now takes two turns to construct. Take what? It's take five. Look at that. Now four turns to construct two fusion cannons. Over here, trade is also increased. Steel production goes up. Now 15 for 15 units. Now for the latest squad, there's going to be more fusion cannons. So I think I'll stick it to uh, steel production. Well, this is going to be on the front line. Do not mention my uh, research labs are. Pump it away hard with their research and stuff. Yep, we're getting it underway. Uh, can I actually... Yeah, I can set the taxes back to the standard. Right. So yes. That was my entire military might and it was easily, it was easily crushed. Uh, so wait, did a hydroponics farm get constructed? Okay, cool. Cool. That's great. Everyone's got as many people on the town in the city centre. That upgrade to be done. What I'm going to do here is build another factory. Yeah, cool, let's get another one made factory out here. Now I have room for, now I have room for it. Now I have room and population for the extra factories. Might as well get to it. Some urgent information for See you. The fusion cannon was constructed. Okay, so they've replaced that with something else. So, I'm not sure what's going on with the Uber Mosque, and they should be building fruit and stuff. What do you think the production level I do? Hmm, it's odd there. Alright, next turn. What can we investigate mining. next? Now, Endurium Mining is broken. Okay, best, best way to put it, it's friggin' broken. This was just transmitted. Okay. Let's just put it right out there. It's broken. Alright, just gonna... How is it broken? Well, let's see. Now, factories require you to have an actual... In order, in order for steel production to be done, you've got to have a factory. Thing is, Endurium has, a, has five times the metal value of iron. So, I said 23. That, so, I set that to 7. 7 times 5 is 35. So, that's 23. That's 35. Clearly superior. And also means, well, you, know, you, could, you, know, you could argue, oh, you could use a factory and get the same amount of value and get a lot more, get a lot more iron out of it. The thing is, that requires using a factory. You could be using that factory for trade. You could be using that factory for trade. So you get more money. Okay? More money. More money is good. Although, as the humans, you're not going to really run low on funds. Over here, 34, 6. Okay, this is not broken. That was an iron bonus. 34, fine. 1, 9. Okay, not broken there. Almost. I swear, but in a previous game I was playing, in a previous, in a previous game I was playing, even on a, even on a map, on a, okay, exactly, okay. even like on a, on a mineral bonus, yeah, sitting on a mineral bonus, so in the middle of all that territory and stuff like that, still have the same amount of uh, it had to produce even more. I guess I don't know what's going on. I guess it's all random, I suppose. But yeah, I was going to complain about how endurium mining is really, really bad, or how endurium mining is broken. But okay, fair enough. It's not broken. It's not okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Fusion plants. Got stuff going on. Food production, although. I think, I think I need more. Let's 
Yeah. Not enough, not, not enough people to play the whole farm. But that'll change my, as my technology increases. So as the tech level goes up, as you're building this increasing tech level and stuff, they require less people to operate. So for example, these uh, automated factories require six people. When we use artificial intelligence, it will go down to four. And then when we use meta replication, the, the factory after that goes down to three. Same with this. When we reset four tech scanners, the, the collective upgrade, the collective tech lab, it will take like three people. And these diffusion plants, they're going to take like, and the vanity matter containment, the other vanity matter plants, and they require two people to operate. And these require four. Yeah, so as your advanced tech level goes up and stuff, you can it online. Something really else much I can do. What I'm going to do is set this to trade, of course. I'm building a hydroponic farm here. Now, can I build a city center? And I have the iron for it. Thank you, Endurium. Yes, I've got a shipyard tucked away there. A lot of trade being done. So, now I've got fusion cannons. Are they, gonna, are they any better? Sort of. But, I can make it even better if I put some aircraft in. What I'm actually going to do is set these aircraft to retreat at 35 damage, and tell them to attack units only. So I don't want them, I don't want them to um, destroy any buildings in their missions, and I want them to retreat. Fusion cannons can stay where they are. Here's how it goes. That was a great expedition. Better warn you about. If you cut us down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Shut up. You, you won that. You won the battle for now. However, you will not win this war. For I have more fusion cannons. We have. You. What can we investigate next? All right. Yeah, because I have more fusion cannons, and I'll research any matter containment, and I'll wipe you all out with them. Plenty of matter stuff. Break these right away. Gonna read the research artificial intelligence, so I can do that. Yeah, the beer population, I could. I could build a robotic factory. I could build an automated factory. A lot less resource intensive. Or, build another city center. You know what? I'm going to do that. Because I have the money for it. <laughs> That's right, Here's I have the news. money. Here's some news. These pithy words are. Ooh, what's this car, Meadow, sir? Well, let's send you down. Let's send these down here. I'm gonna upgrade these right away. Here we go. Next event. What do we got? Is this three colonists? Pew pew pew. What were you building in there? Turn. A new machine. Please choose our next project. I'm gonna research any matter rifles Some next. Some urgent information. Alright, so we're still actually working on stuff to move in. Back and we'll do more houses right away. More houses and I'm gonna throw a cultural set on the museum because again, can we get Can't get those resources soon. So as you can see, stuff got stuff is produced a lot faster. A lot of a lot of iron I'm gonna be spending, but again at the same time, I have to do that. This was just some urge. We deliver a no. Yeah, yeah, shut up. 
Now, another thing I could actually do is move four fusion cannons in. Problem is, the problem with this kind of move, though, is um, any excess military units are disbanded at the end of the turn. And the funny thing is that, well, yeah, those are excess military units, so... But every time I send out, like, four fusion cannons, like, four, all four of them survive. I know strength in numbers and stuff, but all four of them survive, so two of them have to get disbanded. So it's like I lost two anyway. Fusion cannons. Let's get to see the combat. Oh, bam! Inst instant kill. Excellent planning. I don't really worry about the enemy having you blow up the shrine. You blow up the shrine. You blow up the shrine. You blow up the fucking shrine. That is not on. That is... Yeah, I what I don't like is the fact that yeah, you can't see what resources are underneath each territory. So I'm just gonna make a guess that maybe it's, maybe there's something there. We're gonna, run a, we're gonna run a deficit for a few turns. But upgrading to any amount of power plants is worth the it, worth the deficit. Oh boy, it's worth the deficit. Definitely worth it. Okay, and just gonna check everything else. Yep, that's under construction. Fog. Okay. Very flat plains, so I'm gonna need people to spare. That's plenty of people to spare. But Gretna Plains also has the higher growth rate, so Gretna Plains wins. Right. So I think I'll um, end the I think I'll end the video here. Because uh, yeah, it's, I'm running into a lot of time and I'll see if I can finish this up in the next episode. I've been Styles RJ, now we're the scales in. Signing off!